Karen Gay Silkwood was a labor union activist and a chemical technician whose concerns for safety for her fellow workers may have led to her death in the fall of 1974. In 1972, Silkwood moved to Oklahoma City where she found a job at the Kerr-McGee Cimarron Fuel Fabrication Plant near Crescent, Oklahoma. It was there that she joined the local Oil, Chemical, and Atomic Workers Union and after a short time became the first woman elected to the union's bargaining committee. She was assigned to investigate health and safety issues. She discovered what she believed to be numerous violations of health regulations, including exposure of workers to contamination, faulty respiratory equipment, and improper storage of plutonium samples. During the investigation in early 1974, Silkwood found that she contained almost 400 times the legal limit for plutonium contamination. She was decontaminated at the plant and was sent home with testing kits for further analysis. The next two days found that she was still contaminated. Silkwood said she had assembled documentation for her claims against Kerr McGee, including company papers. She decided to go public with this evidence and contacted David Burnham, a New York Times journalist. On November 13, 1974, Silkwood left a union meeting at the Hub Cafe in Crescent. Another attendee of that meeting later testified that Silkwood had a binder and a packet of documents with her at the cafe. Silkwood got into her car and headed alone for Oklahoma City, about 30 miles away, to meet with Burnham and Steve Wadka, an official of her union's national office. Later that evening, Silkwood's body was found in her car, which had run off the road and struck a culvert. The car contained none of the documents she had been holding in the union meeting at the Hub Cafe. She was pronounced dead at the scene in what was believed to be an accident, but later was revealed to have been a possible murder. Her father, on behalf of her children, sued Kerr McGee for contamination of Karen Silkwood. The company settled out of court for $1.38 million without admitting liability.